Firstly, I was shooting a music video in Atlanta in October 2018, and 21 came. It was my first time meeting with him. It was like two minutes, uh, two minutes meeting. I was introduced to him. We were like just talking about the set, and he was really respectful and really like sober, kind guy. And probably after a couple months, like in December, they hit us on uh, really close to New Year celebration, like on December 28th, and uh, it was like. Uh, family time, you know, and I got text message like, yo, we need ASAP treatment for 21. Really ASAP. I was like, oh my, oh my God, which song, which song? He's like, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money you got? A lot. How many problems you got? A lot. How many people done doubted you? A lot. Left you out to rap? A lot. How many pray that you flop? A lot. How many lawyers you got? A lot. How many times you got shot? A lot. How many niggas you shot? A lot. The house in the background, we were searching like some big, royal, great classic house. When we get inside, we were looking for like location, diner scene and other things. I was like, yeah, this is this is a house where I want to shoot. And owner came and was like, actually, there was Atlanta TV show shot here. I was like, really? Because I'm a big fan of Atlanta TV show. And I was like, whoa, now we need to shoot here. <laughs> This is actually the first time we see 21 in a frame and uh, for me this type of like frame and shot was really important to show his power, to show like that he's like leader of family starting from the bottom and now where he is. He is like the boss, he's in the middle, he's a godfather. I'd rather be broke in jail than be dead and rich. This is really important shot because we can see that there is no, you know, waiters, there is no chefs, only family members who is putting the food on a table. When people sitting in the table, like in a family dinner type of thing, um, everybody tries to be the best version of their art. For me, it's bad because the family should be firstly the place where the people are real and when they're, when you don't need to wear any masks, you know? But in this music video, everybody wearing masks, you know, everybody trying to hide something. How many niggas you shot? How many times did you... When the father standing uh, really close to his child in funeral, it's actually like a gym. We could see that this is basically the court for basketball. And this is what gives pressure to our dad. This is a burden. This is a pressure. This is his fears and everything that gives really you know, pressure on him. When I was hearing the sample that uh, 21 used, I was like, it needs to be vintage. Shalom, amazing, amazing DP. He was like, yo, let's shoot something like the film Cold War. Four by three framing, it gives such a great poetry, you know, mood. That's why we chose it to have this, you know, vintage classic look. Fuck it, come on, nigga, 21 Savages hit me and told me he sent me a spot. On a new record he got, he called it a lot. I opened my book and I jot. Initially, we had a free performance for J. Cole. One is with 21 and two where he is, we can see him like kind of related to the, what's going on in the music video. Everything that you can see in the frame is basically a reflection of what's going on in the living room. So this is mirror, huge mirror. The most huge uh, mirror in uh, Atlanta that we can buy. <laughs> the main inspiration for this was film Cold War. They had actually the same scene. On the behind of mirror, we can see a lot of people there. Our grips, the gaffers were like, okay. <laughs> okay, I hope he's not gonna fall. I hope he's not gonna kill artists. <laughs> the main reason why I wanted, we created this kind of actually weird scene is more because he's like a guest and uh, I wanted to see on the reflection of the mirror that the party is going on, the living room is full of guests, everybody is a family speaking and uh, doing their thing, prepping for dinner and J. Cole, he's more like, you know, he's just guest, he's just came to visit 21. In each of takes he was like uh, amazing and when I put him with uh, kids in the frame I was really really surprised. It, it, it tell a lot about his personality. First thing that he done, he's like show playback to this little girl. I was like 
shot at the bottom, the trench is the gutter, so I had to go a little harder, straight up. We had like 15 minutes break, and I was thinking what to shoot on this last verse, and I was like, okay, let's make this scene from A Godfather 2, when young Al Pacino sitting alone in the table with nobody there. What's uh, the last scene of Godfather mean for me personally? It's like the power and the fame leaves you alone. It seems like he sacrificed his family to be on the top of where he is. This is the last shot of this music video. And for me, this black and white photo is showing the result, you know, this black and white because it was in the past. And uh, this is what people sacrifice, you know, everything that we're like, seeing is like from other perspective, you know, we were looking from perspective of 21, we were looking from perspective of family members, and now we're looking like from the white perspective, looking to the whole picture. It was risk, of course, to write this kind of treatment and to present it for big artists like, yo, let's shoot this type of music video. I mean, I think when he was reading it, he was feeling the vibe that I was showing, that I was like putting inside of this music video. I think it touched people's hearts because basically this is not only about, you know, Americans or not only, it's a worldwide story. It's more about what he's hiding, what he's hiding from his family. How many problems he got? A lot. My plan with DP was to make the diner scene, you know, really, you know, has aesthetic of Godfather. The man who was color grading this music video, his name is Stefan. He made a loot for a diner, uh, for the dinner scene. And, 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 uh, and we, me and my DP were like, this is, looks like Godfather, but it's not the same. He's like, I watched the raw footage from Godfather. I know what it is like. We were like, okay, OG, OG. 